Hey guys and it's time for the first look at official Android Pie for the Motorola One Power and this is basically a beta firmware just a few weeks left for Motorola to announce the official update for you all cause it is expected to get Android Pie before 2019 so I hope you can wait a little okay so let's take a look at all the new features that Google has added Motorola has added and at last we will talk about the performance and battery also as I said this is not the final update so it's still possible that they may add a few more features or take back some features I have no idea about that so first off the user interface is totally different from what you have seen in Oreo we have a new quick setting panel power menu and the volume options and everything is just new in terms of interface if you compare it with the original Android Pie Motorola has done some changes this firmware is having blue green color theme which is different from really blue of the Pixel devices and Nokia smartphones which are running official Android Pie. And apart from that, all the applications have been updated by Google. We are having white theme in the phone dialer, messenger and every other application. And that's a part of Material Design 2018. Motorola hasn't added anything new. We have same Moto Actions and same camera application. And again, as I said, things can change with the final OTA and yes this is Android One smartphone so don't expect much from Motorola this is all from Google and yes there you have the brand new settings with tons of new options you are getting dark light theme selection menu adaptive battery and brightness settings and the system is using almost 10 gigs of storage after this update there you have the gesture menu where you can just enable the swipe for navigation and yeah, I'm not going deep into Android Pie specific features. There are tons of things to explore. Okay, so the security patch level is October 2018, which is not so latest, but that's totally fine. Overall experience of Pie on Motorola One Power is amazing because it is an amazing smartphone with not so huge chain and bezels. Also, navigation gestures works flawless. I was expecting Motorola to add their own navigation system cause I think it is better than stock Android navigation system, really. Motorola promised during the launch event that they will add dual loyalty with Android Pie. So just wait for the public OTA, I think they will definitely add this feature. Also it's not having EIS that is electronic image stabilization and hide notch option. There is no information if Motorola is planning to add it or not. And now about the performance and battery, this thing is speedy, I have noticed major performance improvement and just a few days back I reviewed the Nokia 6.1 official Pi and there I said the performance is tiny bit better but lags are still there. And that's not the case with Motorola, it's smooth, there are no lags or bugs and despite the fact both Motorola and Nokia uses stock Android, the optimization is far better in Motorola as compared to Nokia. Nokia is way ahead when it comes to rolling out software update first. Yeah, not here for a comparison. Moving on, the battery life has been improved thanks to Android Pie battery tweaks. I won't say that there is a huge improvement in the battery life that you are going to notice, but definitely it is improved. And there is nothing new apart from the one I mentioned. Definitely I will be reviewing the full official firmware once it gets available. And I think this is the near final firmware I am using right now. So it won't take long for Motorola to roll out the official public software. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And leave your thoughts in the below comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe and peace out.